This is one of the cars from the channel. Uh, today we're just going to discuss the driving modes, the impressions and the running cost of the vehicle. Uh, right now we're trying out the different modes. So we're currently on Eco Pro, which obviously is the most efficient mode of the car, but obviously it cuts the power um, in order to save fuel. We then can move on to comfort mode, which gives you the full power of the car. But obviously the gearbox and the, the gearbox and the chassis won't be as responsive um, as, as co in comparison to Sport to Sport Plus and then once we push it to Sport Mode the car has the M adaptive suspension so you can configure the Sport Mode so if you do configure drivetrain and chassis in Sport uh, in the Sport Mode the steering wheel starts getting a bit heavy and the, obviously the throttle response will be more effective once you put the gearbox into Sport if you just choose the drivetrain it'll just be obviously the, the engine being more responsive as you can see and hear now once it's in sport mode and if you just choose chassis obviously it stiffens up the chassis but obviously uh, depending on the quality of the roads you would choose your, your settings accordingly so this does not come with all M140s it just comes with the, the optional M adaptive suspension and then once we go to sport plus we can obviously cut off the traction quite a bit it will intervene if you're overdoing it um, if you're overdoing it uh, in terms of uh, sliding the car and um, obviously it, it does make the car more responsive as well. So the Sport Plus just cuts the traction slightly. It goes into Sport Traction. You could also put the traction control completely off, which cuts the traction completely off. And Sport Mode obviously allows you to configure the, the, the drivetrain or the chassis and obviously keeping the traction, um, you keep the traction on more, more effectively. And then in terms of the, the driving, the, the running cost of the vehicle, the car is under motor plan, so we don't need to worry about um, uh, reg anything regarding maintenance and with, with regards to fuel costs and uh, tires these tires have been quite good obviously the the quality of the tires a little bit harder than uh, you would say your michelin or your goodyear tires but uh, in terms of the fuel costs uh, it's about you would say you pay about two thousand and a month uh, depending on what mileage you're doing what types of roads you're driving on uh, that will obviously uh, affect your, your fuel and your daily running costs um, in terms of the driving impressions, for example, in sport mode, we, we can see I'll just put the car in manual. You can see it's okay. You can see the traction is cutting a bit, and it is much more responsive. Obviously, this car is a rear-wheel drive car. It's the last of the rear-wheel drive one series, so you could have a bit of fun in it. Um, also, uh, in terms of the the sport modes, in in our conditions, you obviously want the chassis. Yeah, in being um, of the softer setting and you would obviously want the drivetrain being as responsive as possible. The, the car has about 250 kilowatts, 500 newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 is claimed at around 4.5 seconds. And the average consumption at the moment in the car is around 10.6, but obviously I haven't reset the computer. This is with mixed driving. So that's basically it uh, with the M140. If you have any other questions or queries you have on the vehicle, feel free to drop us a comment on the comment section and we'll definitely answer it in upcoming videos. Thanks.